My name is Thea Van Syke, and I'm instructor for 88 Tactical out of Omaha, Nebraska. I've been instructing out there for the last four years. I've held USCCA certifications and NRA certifications. Today, I will be your virtual instructor. Self-protection is one of the primary reasons of new firearm ownership, whether it be for home defense or for concealed carry. Today, I'm here to give you some helpful tips and tactics on how to embark on this new journey. As always, we're gonna talk about the four rules of firearm safety, but this is how I teach my rules and it might be a little bit different than what you've heard previously. But rule number one is safe gun. It's important that you treat all firearms as if they're loaded, but we're gonna take it a step further and it's important that you know the condition of the firearm that you're handling at all times. Rule number two is safe direction. We always wanna keep the muzzle of our firearm pointed in a safe direction. So just in case if it is fired, nobody's gonna be injured and we're not gonna damage anything that shouldn't be damaged. Rule number three is safe finger. We always wanna keep our finger high on the frame of the gun unless we're in the process of firing. And rule number four is safe target and target line. We always need to know what's in between us and our target, what's around our target, and what is beyond our target. And then I also have a bonus rule number five, which is safe storage. Storage. because even if you are not around your firearm, you are still responsible for what happens to that firearm. So to recap our rules, we've got one, which is safe gun, two, which is safe direction, three, safe finger, four, safe target and target line, and rule number five, that bonus rule, safe storage. And it's always important that we not only remember how to say those rules, but that we remember how to apply those rules in whatever environment that we're in.